I want to speak over your life. Please, I want you to believe in the power of prophetic speakings because we are made by the excellency of the speakings. I taught you last week. Everybody in Christ and through spiritual understanding is a prophetic rainmaker. I taught you last week. Rainmakers use divination to manipulate the clouds so that a cloud that is barren and should not have rain they begin to coordinate clouds from regions and gather them in one place and make it come. They call them rainmakers. And the believer in Christ, you can use the creative power of God's prophetic speakings to draw forth. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. Don't ask where the sound came from. He said, speak to the breath. The winds, all winds from the four regions of the earth blow and come upon this lane. There are many of us who are alive but it's like we are dead. Because everything that makes for living and dignity is dead in your life. We are about to prophesy resurrection. Just a few minutes but you must receive with all your heart. Koinonia, I pray for you as touching the grace that God has given in this prophetic season 10 is a number of a circle coming to an end I decree and prophesy to you by the God of heaven and in the name that is above every other name the rain that has been long overdue let it begin to fall yeah. hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. Some time back, someone reached me and I saw his text. I'm so so person. Then I picked, How are you, sir? And he just said, Apostle, I didn't call you for prayer or anything. For three days, God had been speaking to me. And God told me that from today, He wants me to stand and sow this amount of seed to this ministry for as long as my business thrives. I said, What is this? are you sure you want to did you discuss this with your wife said ah, i'm not a child i'm not a this this is what god has put in my heart and when that happened it was not really what he said that was the testimony i began to pray and i said lord there is a covenant in this house that whatever flows from the head must go down to every part listen when you go to take your bath your leg does not struggle to touch the shower it is patient because it knows by connection you bath your whole body by standing on one position. I said all that to prophesy to you. Strangers will call you. Strangers will reach you. Strangers will look for you. They will tell you they were mandated by God to insist till you rise. Hallelujah. I traveled to a particular nation and I finished preaching, went to bed to sleep. By the next day I got up and then my host calls me and says, Apostle, you are strange. I said, what is wrong? He said, come, let me show you something. We go out and we get to a place and there is a very, very expensive car that was parked. And he said, a man of God drove with this car and said, right here, he said, give it to Apostle. I said, number one, um, how do I carry this car to Nigeria number two um, the way they drive their direction of driving is not the same with our own so what well it's none of my business this is what the man has said I said call the man and we try to speak to him you thought he would be sympathetic and say okay I'll come and take it and no leave it there it's yours what is on you is what controls what is around you I'm saying this because there are many things in our lives that have refused to change. I want to prophesy something to come upon your head. He said, my horn has thou exalted like the head of a, the horn of a unicorn. And I have been anointed with fresh oil. Please hear me, Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you, the mantle that makes for favor and for lifting, let it rest on you now. Hallelujah. 
When Minister Dunsin came up, he prayed very powerfully for the grace for intimacy. I want to pray that grace for you. You are lacking seriously spiritually if you have not obtained the grace. He said, blessed is the man that God caused to approach. You are called like the king had to send for people. You don't just come. It's a summon by his grace. But when he calls you to that inner chamber, you will find treasures within the chamber that gives you authority. Even if you are a gatekeeper like Mordecai, the moment you enter the inner chamber of the king, from there you are climbing the king's horse to a life of dignity and honor. Let me speak to someone. In the name of Jesus, may your intimacy with the Holy Spirit, the value that comes from his presence, from his word, from the place of prayer, let it translate to an exceptional life of signs and wonders. Don't be tired, I'm praying. Let me pray over your finances. Please don't say it does not matter. The devil is tying down people and making the matters of finance to interrupt people and not allow people to serve God with integrity and to serve God acceptably. You belong to a family that has been marvelously helped of God. That name Ebenezer is a reality by the message of God. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. By the power that brought the raven to feed Elijah at Brook Cherith, so that he was not without supplies, may supernatural supplies begin to attend to your needs. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, whoever has been mandated by God to hold your hands in this season and introduce you to the next season of your life, I compel them by the Spirit to perform their ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, I told you that a generation only hears you because the mantle of honor is upon you, not just because you are valuable. You can be valuable and yet not be heard. It says, Thou shalt take Joshua, in whom is the Spirit. And it says, Thou shalt lay your hands upon him. Hallelujah. And then it says, You shall take some of your honor and you shall put upon him so that the congregation would hear him. It takes honor. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. But when that grace is upon you, you will speak and nations will hearken to you. I decree and declare that mantle and that grace for honor, may it rest visibly upon your life. From tonight, I stand by the privilege of God's grace alongside the coordinated grace of all the fathers in this nation that God has granted privilege to receive from. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing dies in your hands. From today, begin to record unending testimonies. Testimonies in the morning. Testimonies in the afternoon. Testimonies in the night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have started but has not finished, receive the finisher's anointing. For those of you praying for divine direction, to know what God wants you to do for the next season of your life, in a dream of the night, may my God come with accurate answers for you. Hear me, if there is any Jonah sitting in your boat, making you to lose things, and you are about to lose your life, I throw that Jonah out of the boat. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody who is already in the belly of the fish, it looks like it has been concluded about you. The same voice that spoke to the fish, and informed Jonah out. Whatever it has swallowed in your life, we command it must vomit it now. Yes. 
Finally, every point of contact you came here with, your hands as a symbol of your productivity, your documents, whatever it is, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace for favor rest upon them. Now, please hear me. We pray for Abuja. Lord, behold their threatenings, he said, and grant that, that signs and wonders be done in the name of your Holy Son. We have a responsibility over this city and over this territory and this nation to responsibly make our spiritual contributions in making for the safety. In the name of Jesus, we release the forces of judgment. We command the wind. We command the earth. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, and the stars fought for Deborah. We declare by the power of prophecy, let the tokens of judgment be released over this city. And every conspiracy of darkness that is fighting the purposes of God, let it fail permanently now. Can I tell you, before God will come to Sodom and Gomorrah, he came to Abraham. And Abraham said, if you find 10 people, will you still judge them? And God said, no. I don't know about you, but I'm here. You can count the rest. In the name of Jesus Christ, we stand here as prophetic signposts, together with all who name the name of Christ. And we declare, the spirit that sponsors evil, we command you are banished from our region. Hallelujah. And anyone who has vowed that for as long as he's alive, people must die. I stand by the mantle of judgment. May the earth open and swallow them. And anybody who is profiting from this wickedness, in the name of Jesus, I say it again. That which they eat will be to their death. Therefore, we release angels. The entire six local governments that make up the FCT, we release angels. And we pray for the neighboring regions, Nasarawa State, Benway State, Plateau State, Kaduna State, Niger State, you are fortified. We pray for the law enforcement agents who labor day and night may god grant them courage and intelligence but as for you i declare may the lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means please hear me we pray for everyone connected to this vision the children the spouses the businesses in the name that is above all names and by the mystery of the fourth man in the fire that says those who the fire had no power over there shall be no loss it will never be that you went out and then you could not return back to your home because you were in the middle of a crisis if it will happen you will not go there but if you go there, then it will not happen. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Wave your hands. As a wave offering to Jesus who is the son of the living God. We give thanks. We give thanks. In the name of Jesus Christ. All we have declared and all you have received tonight. It is permanent in your life. In Jesus name.